Hey everybody, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your Poetic Psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka Diamond. I'm here to do another one of my Missing Persons videos. Um, tonight, is, this is going to be about Madeline McCain. She is still the young lady that you see right in front of you. Um, Madeline McCain was born on May 12, 2003. Um, she was three years old at the time of her disappearance, which was on May 7th of 2007. Um, she, at that time, her height was 2 feet 11 inches. She's blonde hair, and she has some very unique eyes. Her left eye is blue. Her right eye is green with a brown dot in the iris of the eye. Um, I do believe that her, her siblings, as well as her parents, they're from the UK. Um, so she disappeared in May 7, 2007 at age three years old um, from her bed, which was in a holiday apartment at a resort in Portugal. Uh, she was vacationing there with her parents, Dr. Kate and Dr. Gary McCain, and her two... Um, two-year-old twin siblings. All of the children, Madeline McCain, as well as her two twin uh, siblings, they were asleep. Um, their parents supposedly took them in um, to bed. Um, they were also there with a, uh, a group of, I guess, family friends and their children as well. So when the parents took them into bed, um, took Madeline and her uh, siblings into bed. They left them sleep in the resort um, while the parents went to wine and dine, if you will, at a restaurant that was supposed to be nearby um, with their friends that they were also vacationing with at this, res at this resort that they were at. Um, they claimed that they periodically checked in on the children um, but ultimately, the last time that they went to go and check on the children, Madeline was missing. She was the only child out of all the other children that were there that just seemingly vanished into thin air and went missing. Um, what I, from what I could gather, they were left alone for about somewhere in between one and a half to two hours, um, which the parents claimed that they kept looking in on them checking on them throughout um, this time frame um, I believe it was uh, in between 8 30 and 10 o'clock um, that all of this took place um, the, the military time that I seen on the article that I read was 2030 and at 2200 is when um, one of the parents realized that Madeline McCain was gone um, she has been seemingly missing ever since then. And so I'm doing this reading for Madeline McCain um, tonight. This is this is a very high profile case. Um, it made worldwide news. And um, this is just like next to Jamine Ramsey. This is like one of the biggest um, missing persons cases that has um, gone on. Okay. So, I am going to start off with my reading um, for Madeline McCain, what I have picked up for her. Um, it is quite shocking. So, I kind of have the lights dim so that you all could see the screen images and things, so you can't see my notes here. But I'm going to read this reading off um, for you. I've already prayed and I meditate, meditated. I got these messages uh, throughout. Um, the last two days, um, I actually believe that there's more to it, but I'm going to go ahead and give what I have so far because it's kind of lengthy, and if I need to come back, update, do a further reading, um, pull clarifiers, cards, whatever else I need to do, I'm led by spirit, and thus I will do so if I need to. Um, the good news in this um, situation with Madeline McCain what I picked up from Spirit is, I started this on, um, well, early yesterday morning, actually. So, I have down, as of August 4th, 
2021 Madeline McCain is still alive. Um, Spirit tells me that she was abducted by a woman. This woman is, um, she, she looks white or she looks Caucasian. She could have um, uh, some other type of heritage mixed in um, there. But what I clearly got is that she's Caucasian. Uh, Madeline McCain was abducted to be trafficked, specifically to be trafficked um, from where from where she was. But she, you all pay attention because she was actually taken for a reason. Um, she wasn't necessarily taken for the the main reasons that most other children are taking, which is the 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 major shocker about um, this. Um, this reading and about Madeline McCain's uh, disappearance. Um, Spirit goes on to tell me that she was taken for an elite individual or someone in power. Um, this individual is not where they're from in the UK. Um, this elite individual is not from the United States that I um, picked up, okay? Um, Madeline McCain is not... Um, being used in an underground sex ring. So when most children um, are abducted um, and they are trafficked, that's what most people think automatically. Um, there are some very severe other things that are going on with her, but she was not specifically taken to be used um, in the underground sex ring. There's actually something very special about Madeline McCain. Um, Madeline is being used as someone's personal slave, though. She was specifically taken for a specific person um, who is an elite individual, who is high up in power, um, and she is actually their personal slave. Um, and, and that has many different meanings to it. Um, Madeline... She doesn't, she doesn't know whom she really is. Um, her identity has been changed. Um, Madeline McCain is under heavy monarch programming. Spirit specifically let me know that she, she is under heavy um, mind control, MK Ultra mind control programming. Um, she's under one of their, uh, also one of their mind control programmings called monarch programming as well. Um, I asked, I specifically asked Spirit, was the beta sex kid in programming being used on her or any of the type of um, programming that was, or the sexual programming used on her. And I specifically asked that question and I got a direct answer of no like several times. Um, Madeline McCain is being used and programmed to be a spy. Um, the person that she was taken for, this is a very elite individual, someone that is high up in power and have a lot of connections to do with, um, I'm just going to say, a lot of things that, that are used to run, rule, and control our world. Madeline McCain um, is under such heavy programming and mind control because she is essentially being programmed to be a spy, to be an informant, to be an agent of some kind. Madeline was taken for um, retaliation against her parents. The reason Madeline was specifically taken is because of um, is because of a um, situation that occurred with her parents. Um, the person that uh, ordered her to be taken. Um, this is why this was done. Some type of altercation or something happened with her parents. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah, she was definitely specifically taken for the specific reason of retaliation against her parents. Her parents um, both are doctors. They have some ties with some high-profile elite individuals um, 
I believe they came upon some type of information, have secret knowledge about something, or, or something specifically like that went on, and Madeline McCain was taken for retaliation against her parents. Um, Madeline is not in the United States, you all. I asked several times, Madeline McCain is not in the United States. I specifically asked uh, diff of, in different countries and I got a hit on China. Madeline McCain is being held hostage. She was trafficked, she was kidnapped, and she was trafficked to China. She is in China. China's government has something, uh, the, the Chinese government has something against the parents. Um, uh, the, the, Madeline McCain's have, uh, parents have some very lucrative, uh, high-profile, secret information of some kind. They, they were either working on something, researching something, found out something, have access to something, or, or something, and, um, this is what prompted Madeline McCain to be abducted. I'm going to tell you more about that later. I specifically asked Spirit, um, did the United, does the United States have any um, idea about this, have any information about this? And the direct answer that I got from Spirit, the American government doesn't know that a white American citizen woman trafficked Madeline McCain for the Chinese government. So, what you all need to understand is this Caucasian woman that took Madeline McCain is American. She is a spy. She's a, essentially a double agent. She's a spy. Um, sh she is uh, in, a, a, an informant. She's a double agent and she is a spy. And she is working with the Chinese government. Um, and thus they use this individual to traffic Madeline McCain. I specifically asked how Madeline McCain got to China. How was she trafficked to China? Because um, I just wanted to know how she got over there. I specifically asked Spirit, was it by boat? I got to no. know. Was it by this or that um, or whatever? I was specifically told by Spirit that Madeline McCain's abductor had a private plane. Um, and they are being, this, this person is being paid very well for their services by the Chinese government. But they are a traitor to the United States, number one. Um, they are a double agent because they are probably working both sides. And um, this person is definitely an insider. Um, and, and this person was used to, to, to um, abduct Madeline McCain. Um, Madeline McCain's parents are aware of whom abducted her and where she is. So despite what Madeline McCain's parents have reported, have said um, in interviews, they are aware um, of um, whom abducted, abducted Madeline McCain. Um, and um, I specifically got from Spirit, they know where she is as well. Um, and so I don't know if they're just going along with this cover up. Um, with the information that is being given to the public that, you know, basically all we have been told is just, you know, little bitty old Madeline McCain just vanished, went, disappeared into thin air one day. Nobody's ever seen or heard from her ever again. And that's about all anybody knew. Um, but in, they, in fact, know more than that. Um, Madeline McCain's parents are being ex, um, extorted for money. They are paying, I'm telling you, Madeline McCain's parents, um, like I said, I'm having to do more for this reading, but I want, this was, I, I was up so late yesterday and today, you all, to get this, and like the whole time I was doing this, I'm like, ooh, we, ooh, we, I mean, like, we got spies, we got double agents, we got traitors, I'm like, oh my God, does the United States know? I'm like, it's going to be some smoke in the city, it's about to be World War Three. should I even put this out? 
it, it is it's stupid crazy. Like this is not a funny matter, but y'all don't understand how deep this thing is. Like for real, for real. Madeline McCain's parents are being extorted for money. I don't know. I haven't gone in depth on that part yet. What I I do know that what they know, the information they have, what they seen, what they heard, what they ran across, the information that they have that 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 the Chinese government is working against them, which ultimately got Madeline McCain um, abducted. They are also being extorted for money for this. So almost like paying a constant ransom for a child that they haven't gotten back. It's crazy, y'all. You, I mean, like, my God, you, you, you. We see this type of stuff in the movies. Y'all don't even understand how deep this get, y'all. I was just like, wow. Um, Madeline McCain is being abused. She is being abused while being held hostage. Um, when I specifically ask, was she being used for the underground sex ring? Um, I gotta know. She is not being used in a sex ring but she, um, like I said she was abducted for a specific elite individual for a specific person in power she is this person's personal slave this person has her uh, ordered her to have the monarch programming the mind control programming all the other program the spy programming and all the other programming that they this person has ordered that but I guess to keep her in check to keep her in line um, other abuse and things is is going on by that person um, to onto her. Okay, I do know that other children um, who have been abducted, um, whom are essentially missing, I specifically picked up from Spirit. Other children are being held hostage where Madeline McCain is being kept, but. It's, it's, it's not an underground sex ring. It's almost like, um, oh, I can't think of the name of that movie right now, y'all. But it's it's like the, when they, they, they pick certain children, like special people with like special gifts or something. Or like they've abducted certain people's kids and they're, they're housing them there. And they're putting them under all this programming and doing using different type of stuff on them it's, it's like one of those type of places um and and they're being programmed and trained to be specific like spies and informants and agents and th it's crazy y'all like that's where she's being held at though but there are other children i specifically picked up from spirit that there are other children that are being kept there um, and that is going through those things as well and being used for that, 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 that matter as well. Madeline McCain's abductors um, do not plan on keeping her alive. So going back to the parents being extorted for money, they have pissed off the Chinese government. They have pissed off somebody high up in power. They, I believe their efforts for just extorting them for money um, is 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 an effort they think to get their daughter back one day, but I believe they have double crossed them. And but the I specifically got sp from spirit the abductors do not plan to 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 keep uh, Madeline McCain alive. So at some point um, they will try to kill her. But after that, um, and and especially if if people get too close. Or trying to, if they get found out, or trying to get get her or something, um, they would try to kill her. But right after I I I I got that message from Spirit, I also got from Spirit. I asked Spirit specifically. I said, "Will Madeline McCain be found?" Um, I actually I specifically asked Spirit, "Will Madeline McCain be found alive?" When I found out that the the abductors had no intentions on uh, keeping her away. So you guys, the information that I got is Madeline McCain will be found. Um, is what Spirit is telling me. I believe, 
I hope she will be found before her abductors try to kill her. I believe she will be found before then. Um, uh, I'm not sure how that how that rescue would go though because she would need some heavy heavy deprogramming because she is severely I mean severely under mind control. Um, um, Spirit also let me know that um, I, I believe I told you all this already. Madeline McCain's identity and or her appearance has been changed. So you see when she went missing, as you can see, she had blonde hair. Her eyes are a very distinctive color, like one is blue, one is green, and it she has a brown dot on the on one of her eyes. I believe they probably tried to uh, change her hair color, changed uh, certain uh, things about her, her name, and different parts with her identity, so, so she wouldn't be regularly identified by someone. I also got from Spirit that the Chinese government. Um, the reason that they have this issue slash problem with Madeline McCain's parents is because of something. It has something to do with technology, medicine, a virus strain, research, or some kind of information pertaining to that. I told you all that, that Madeline McCain's parents are doctors. Um, they're from the UK. They obviously got their hands on something. They got knowledge or information about something. And what have we already know that the Chinese is the lead in technology. Um, we know about a lot of things like right now that we're dealing with that's going on with these viruses. And all kinds of things um, that they create in labs and all kinds of things. But yeah, this is the reason why Madeline McCain was taken. That is where Madeline McCain is. And, you know, I, I pray and I hope for her safe recovery, if that is even possible. I just want to let you all know, that's that's all on the reading for that. Um, I'm going to let you all listen to something real quick. I am going to do an update with this because Spirit had more to say. Um, I was up so late, I was so tired and, and everything, so it started getting so deep that I just kind of stepped back from it. I'm like, oh my gosh. And when I start back working on it today, y'all know I'm a target, so they, they started making my head hurt, they started making my chest hurt, and I had to stop for a minute, and then I said, okay, well, you know what, I'm just going to present what I have. If Spirit lead me to do an update later, then I will do that. But I'm going to end this with a bit of um, factual uh, uh, data. Um, also, I have told you all before, on average, there are 800,000 children whom goes missing every year who just seemingly vanish into thin air. That's 800,000 children, just the children. That's not even including the teenagers and the adults that goes missing every year. If you added the teenagers and the adults to the also the 800,000 on average children that go missing, that would be well over 1 million people who goes missing every year. But the, the vast majority of the individuals who go missing are children. Um, so to break down the statistics of this, what I do. Okay, if you have 800,000 children who go missing every year, this is in the United States alone now. 800,000 children go missing every year. So you can roughly estimate, we've got 50 states, you can roughly estimate that 16,000 children per state go missing every year. So let's go back to the 800,000, okay? If you've got 800,000 children who go missing, let's assume that they all had, all 800,000 of those children had different abductors. Well, now this means that you have 800,000 abductors, kidnappers in the United States, okay? If you divide that by the 50 states, that we have, again, you will get the 16,000. That means that there are 16,000 kidnappers in every state, people. 
that you don't know that is randomly walking around you every day. That means that there are at the very least 16,000 children, no matter what state you stay in, that goes missing every year to equal the 800,000 on average that goes missing. Now, of course, your states that are bigger, like, say, your New Yorks, your Californias, your Texas, your Floridas, your, you know, all these big states like this, they probably have more than the 16,000 that goes missing a year. But, I mean, this is serious. I don't understand why pe this is not clicking in with people, why nobody cares you couldn't possibly be so naive and so dumb to think that, you know, life is wonderful and great and peaches and creams and you're just living your best life and everything's okay. Meanwhile, we've got 800,000 children who go missing every 365 days, every year. And we potentially have 800,000 kidnappers, abductors, just on the loose. Making children vanish into thin air. Do you all know how many children just vanish into thin air? They don't have a lead. They don't have a suspect. They don't have a body. They don't have a case. They don't have nothing. They just vanish. They got all this technology out here. They can, con they can collect all of our data. But all the scientists, all the doctors, all the witches, all the Satanists, all the big bad people in power in, in the military, in the CIA, in the FBI, and all through the government, they can't tell you nothing about all of these missing people who have just vanished into thin air. Now you have to think about where in the hell do you hide 800,000 children that goes missing every year, every year. Okay, so, I mean, like, people need to pay attention to this. There is something very wrong with this. This is not just some phenomenon. This is not some random occurrence. This is not some, you know, hit and miss uh, 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 situation or altercation or something. This means that somewhere, somebody is going missing. Several somebodies. Every day. Every day, whether you know them or not, why does that not bother you? And does that not also trigger you to believe that perhaps the, your, your government, your people in power are behind this? How come they can have so much power and so much money and so much uh, 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 privilege and so much technology and they're supposed to be all seeing and all knowing, but they can't tell you where all these missing children are who seemingly vanish into thin air? It doesn't make sense, people. I care. Do you? Nevertheless, you guys, um, I want you all to listen to this heartbreaking case that still puzzles investigators around the world. What happened to Madeline McCann? The three-year-old disappeared from her family's hotel room while they were on vacation in Portugal nearly 12 years ago. Since then, Kate and Jerry McCann have searched for their daughter. Now, a series about the toddler's disappearance is coming to Netflix. The entire McCann case has become a phenomenon. If you made a dozen movies out of this, nobody would believe them. Before the 10th anniversary of her disappearance, the McCanns reflected on the time they have lost with Madeline. So in some ways it, it feels like it was only a few weeks ago and other times it's felt really long. Um, but it's a hard marker of time. But they both say they still believe Madeline is alive somewhere and won't stop searching for her. They know she's alive. No parents going to give up on their child unless they know for certain the child's dead and we just don't have any evidence. They're lying. So My hope of Madeline being out there is no less than it was almost 10 years ago. I mean, apart from those first 48 hours, nothing actually has changed since then. I mean, our, I think the difficult thing has always been, how will we find her? You know, because you're relying on the police doing everything they can and you're relying on somebody with information coming forward. And her parents say the Netflix series could hinder that ongoing investigation. 
In a statement, the couple says they declined to participate because they, quote, did not see and still do not see how this program will help the search for Madeline and particularly given there is an active police investigation. They didn't want to participate in the Netflix um, broadcast to help find her or to talk about her case. Ask yourself why. I guarantee you the people, they know where she is. They know she's alive and they're being extorted for money. That's why they didn't want to help. They were told not to help and not to, because they, 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 they've been told not to say anything. They can't say anything about what they know Jared and where she's at. Or they've probably been threatened to be killed. Kate went to check on the kids an hour later. Madeline was gone. And so began the search for a little girl who seemed to vanish into thin air. Her anguished parents pled with whoever had taken her to bring her back. See the one eye symbolism? Bright, funny. Satanic powers that be, baby. She is so special. Please, please do not hurt her. Please don't scare her. Please tell us where to find her. Or put her in a place of safety and let somebody know where she is. You can see she's she lying all over her face. Home. But the couple soon faced questions about whether they had anything to do with her disappearance, something they denied. They were labeled suspects in September 2007. At the time, police claimed they believed Madeline had died in the holiday apartment and that her parents had faked her kidnapping to cover it up. They were removed as suspects in 2008. Over the next decade, police received tips from people saying they had spotted Madeline, including this girl in Morocco, who seemed to bear a striking resemblance. Is it Madeline? A photo taken of a little girl in Morocco. Take a look at this photo snapped by a tourist in Morocco. Is this little girl seen in Morocco missing Maddie McCann's? But it wasn't her, and the search continued. The McCanns say they struggled with how to give their other children some semblance of a life. Uh, I think before Madeline was taken, we felt we'd managed to achieve a little perfect nuclear family of five. <clears throat> uh, you adapt and you have He's lying. new normality and unfortunately for us, a uh, new normality at the minute is a family of four. Kate said in 2017 that she still buys Christmas and birthday presents for Madeline each year to give her if she comes home. What it would be like to see their daughter again is something Kate says she doesn't always allow herself to think about. I think I try not to, to go there too often, to be honest. It's one of those real bittersweet kind of thoughts. Um, yeah, I mean, I can't imagine, I, I say 10 years is a long time. But we haven't shared me, one tear. When a mum and dad. And no emotion. Daughter, and she's got a sister, grandparents, and lots of family and friends, you know. Um, They're lying. So it would be absolutely fine, you know. It'd be... Beyond words, really. <laughs> we'll cope with anything, yeah. A daughter whose disappearance remains one of the biggest unsolved missing persons cases in the world. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Kaylin Ford. They're lying, you guys. And ask yourself this, how come the other, if there were two, she was the oldest. She was only three at the time, but she has siblings who are a set of twins. And, um... They were there as well. So if this was just, this lets you know that if this was just about, you know, some random kidnapping, um, that, that they would have been taken too, right? No, Madeline McCain was specifically taken for a specific reason. They know exactly where she's at. They know exactly why this is being done. They know exactly what's going on, but they can't say anything because this is all staged. That was a setup. It was a setup, and it was a now, sacrifice. The toddler's disappearance is coming to Netflix. The entire McCann case has become a so you all, I just want to share this with you all. You I wanted to share. Um, I wanted to share the the spirit messages that I got for Madeline McCain. Um, this is a very sad situation. I'm I'm glad that she's alive. Um, but, um, is it going to be possible to get her out safely with everything else that's going on and everything that else that I know about this? I don't know. I really don't. 
Um, but these satanic powers that be are wrapped all around this situation. And this situation is way bigger than anybody um, really knows. Um, but anyway, guys, um, I hope this brings some peace to somebody, um, some closure to somebody. Um, it informed those who, who, who are in the know or wanted to know. Um, as I always say, take care of yourself, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your children. Peace, love, and light, everybody. Namaste.